Today we have very four very special guests and good friends of mine on the Senior State of Go TV today. Uh, with four very uh, special institutions, organizations in, here in San Diego. So I welcome you all. We have Debbie Thank Rossi, you. the Director of Plan Giving at the Salvation Army. We have Vian Nguyen, Manager of Plan Giving and Major Gifts at KPBS. Thanks so much. I'm still waiting for Downton Abbey to decide to come back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we have Amy Walling, Assistant Vice President for Plan Giving and Estates at SDSU. Thank you, Ron. Go Aztecs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then Kyle, the last but not least, we have Kyle Button, Associate Vice President for Development at Cal State San Marcos, Go Cougars. And all four of these very special people and organizations are part of a summer program called Estate Planning 101, and that's what we're here to talk about today along with their organization. So Debbie, let's start with you. First, plan giving, what do you mean by that title, plan giving director? Very simple, Ron. What we try to do is help people plan their giving. And plan giving means we're working with our senior population. Um, we're working with them with income producing gifts potentially, so gift annuities, trust, um, bequest, and wills, and living trust, and that type of thing. So we're helping them plan their retirement. And I know you're very hands on with them a as well. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about Estate Planning 101, and you've mm -hmm. been involved with it for how many years, Debbie? Salvation Army's been involved with Estate Planning 101 for six years already. Six years. Yes. Congratulations. Uh, it's, it's been a wonderful, wonderful move on our part, Ron. Um, we were looking for something that we could provide as a service to our constituency, and Estate Planning 101 is absolutely the most comprehensive estate planning seminar um, out there and, and actually ours is a series of workshops. It's a total of 12 hours of education split up over four days, um, which is split up over two weeks as well. It's extraordinarily comprehensive. And so, how, so let's expand on that a little bit. How does that differ from the other quote estate planning seminars, workshops that are out there? Simple. We're the best. <laughs> uh, we're the best that's out there. And, and, you know, most estate planning seminars are a lunch and learn and maybe an hour and a half, two hours. Free chicken dinner. Uh, free chicken dinner, exactly. Mm -hmm. We're talking 12 hours. Um, it's, it's sponsored by charities or nonprofit organizations, which makes us extremely different. Um, the, I feel it's a great service to the community because we go so much further um, than any other estate planning seminar. We have geriatric care manager who comes in and talks about uh, living opportunities. Do you want to live in your home when you're a senior? If so, what do you have to do to make it safe? Uh, what is the cost compared to maybe moving into a senior living facility? We do do the typical, uh, we talk about wills and estates powers of attorney, advanced health care directive, but we spend four hours on that when most of these seminars are an hour and a half to, to two hours. Uh, we have, um, you know, we bring in financial uh, advisors who talk to us about the difference in the advisors and the planners, whether they're fee-based or if they're commission-based. Um, you know, we're all about protecting our constituency, our, our community, um, helping them protect themselves as well as their assets. We have a uh, charity speaker who will come in and talk about building relationships with the charities of their choice and what the great resources that the charities have to offer because we are all in plan giving, we all do estate planning, and we can provide a tremendous resource, again, at no cost to our constituency. We can talk to them about helping them um, supplement their income with a planned gift, uh, you know, whether it's a gift annuity or a trust or even um, help them with their children, their, you know, their heirs to make sure the bundle isn't blowing. But I think also, you know, I've been in this business for 30 years and the number one reason why people don't plan is because they don't know who to name mm -hmm. as an executor or a successor trustee. And we spend three hours on that subject that there are alternatives out there. And we all believe that it is much better to have a plan in place um, 
uh, for you know when 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 you pass away. And I know, and I know you have a story that we're going to sh come back and sure. share with us, and it's really the depth and breadth of this workshop, State Planning 101, that is takes it to a whole different level Absolutely. than anything anybody can attend to. So Amy, uh, San Diego State, this is your first year. It's our first year, yes. So why did the university decide to be a, a co-sponsor this year? Well, we wanted to give an, a, a, an educational resource back to the community. We think that this seminar is going to be just fantastic for the ones that are attending. We feel that um, it's going to be an action-oriented type of seminar, so they will know e exactly what their next steps are going to be when they leave. Um, these are folks that are going from college to retirement, so this is helping them throughout the years and understanding what they're going to need. Um, this is going to be a, a legacy, a continued legacy of what they're trying to do. So. I think yeah. that's really, legacy is such an important word to get across, that people really have the opportunity to leave a legacy and be in control of what they've accumulated during their lifetime. And it's so important. Right. San Diego State is such a, an amazing institution, organization up on, the, up on the Mesa that I'm so glad that you decided to come on board this year. I know you had a story you wanted to share about a benefactor and the musical theater. So please tell us about yes, that. Yes, it's faculty maritime Maggie McKiro. And so because of her estate planning, because she's able to plan, because she did her planning, she's also able to help others who can plan. Um, she supports the graduate students that want to create, she's creating scholarships for graduate students who want to study children musical theater. And so she has other folks who are inspired by her giving and she's helped them do their planning and now they're actually giving to her scholarship at San Diego State, well, the Maggie McCarran Scholarship. Yes. So will she be in, hopefully be in attendance this summer? I think so. I think so. We're definitely going to get her there, but she's done her planning. She knows she's done her estate planning so she can plan for the future. And really, you know, people think I state planning, it's all about the end. It's really all about living. And that's what we want to get across to everybody that attends. And we know we've been, we've been in attendance and we all, they all come in with their, and especially the, the man <laughs> comes in with, oh, my wife dragged me here. And by the time they're leaving after the 12th hour, they're the ones with all the questions and they're the ones who go, okay, I got to get my team in place. And it's really a remarkable I don't want to say if it's transformational, transformational or whatever it is, but I've been there from first hour to the twelfth hour to see what happens to people and how they really take ownership mm -hmm. of their quality of life. So Vienne, you're with KPBS and you've been involved for several years now and um, tell us a little bit about why you think it's so important that people come to State Planning 101. To build off of what Debbie said, KPBS's mission is to educate the community and there really is no other seminar that's as thorough as this one when it comes to estate planning. Um, estate planning is complicated. There are a lot of moving parts. There are several different kinds of documents and not all of them will apply to your assets the same way. So some might apply to your real estate, some might apply to your retirement plan. And along with that, everyone has their own loved ones, their own financial and charitable goals. So there are a lot of moving parts. And this seminar, because it covers so many hours, really gives this topic the time that it needs in order for everyone to absorb it all and think about what's gonna be the best for them. Um, it's just a little bit too complicated to simply Google on the internet for that reason. Um, there's a lot of misinformation out there or information that applies to other states that doesn't apply to California. And so estate planning is California specific. It's led by a number of professional advisors. So you get a lot of different perspectives and um, it's really a valuable, valuable program that way and, it, and it's free to the public. So anyone that's curious to go, um, we invite you. We'll, be, uh, we'll all be there as well to help answer any questions with it. That's fantastic. Tell us a little bit about the Friends for Life, the Legacy Society of KPBS. So for um, donors that choose to support uh, KPBS with the planned gift, we've created our Legacy Society. It's called Friends for Life and it's an opportunity for us to thank our donors um, past and present. Um, we have an annual appreciation event every year. We have a recognition wall that names all of those generous donors right at our station. Um, and we also invite all of our Friends for Life members to our Producers Club events as well. Um, Producers Club, if you've heard on the radio, 
is um, donors that um, support KPBS at $100 a month or greater. Um, and we do events, several events every month that um, range from art events to speakers about science and innovation to screenings of the programs. So it's a really great way to bring together people that love KPBS and believe in public broadcasting and bring them all in together to, in the same rooms to learn more about KPBS and our community. Kyle, let's turn to you. And this is your third year as part of, as a co-sponsor of plan of, of State Planning 101. That's right. Tell us a little bit about, let's move in a little different direction. What are the, your duties as the Associate VP for Development at Cal State San Marcos? And let's give a plug out, go Cougars. Go Cougars. Go Cougars. <laughs> roar, 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 roar. 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 No, I think all of us have as a, as a part of our professional responsibilities, working as an information resource for our donors, our friends, our communities. And one of the reasons I believe Estate Planning 101 is so important is not only that it's comprehensive, but it's also nonprofit. It's not being sponsored by somebody who's trying to sell you something. We're in the business of, of education. We're also in the business of community service. Uh, we're probably the youngest charity uh, represented here today and among the sponsors. We just celebrated our 25th anniversary. Congratulations. Yay, Thank you. Anniversary. But since the founding of the university, we've had a strong community service uh, mission. Uh, we have an Osher Lifelong Learning Institute. We work with senior centers in, in our area. And I think this is information that is too often not discussed. You mentioned people's fear of talking about the planning. And I think many people think of it as you know, planning for death. And it's really not. It's planning for the rest of your life and beyond, e even to issues of legacy. We're, we're delighted to be a part of that. And in our roles as, as planned giving professionals, we work not only with our donors, but with their professionals to make sure we understand what's intended by their gift, and probably most importantly, that we're prepared to be able to uphold those wishes when the time comes. So we can do that anonymously. We can, uh, we can do it in a way that is, is, is personal and meaningful and really an integral part of the process of putting your estate plan together. And you have a specific story about a benefactor that you No, know. it's, it's, it's one of my favorite stories <laughs> because it happened early in my career and I think set me on this path. And I was working with a donor who um, had been an active part of the university community uh, for a number of years. Her husband passed away and then she became distant. And it, uh, through a course of conversations, she said, well, I don't think I can afford to do that anymore. And it didn't seem to make sense because to my mind, her financial circumstances hadn't changed. But apparently her husband's advice, just before he dies, you know, is honey, don't sell the blue chips. <laughs> So she had great, um, uh, she had accumulated wealth, she had stocks, but they weren't paying dividends. So she felt impoverished in that way. And through a series of conversations with her advisors, we constructed a way to increase life income for her um, and let her have more choices in her life. The end result would be a nice gift for, uh, to the university in memory of her husband and so she got back into the life of the university. And I think why this, is, this story is special to me is she, she wrote me probably the nicest thank you letter I ever got in this business, which mm -hmm. is, you know, thank you for making me a wealthy woman again. <laughs> and I'm not really talking about the money. Right. right. It was the quality mm -hmm. of her life and her engagement and the choices that she had to make. If people would just reach out, people just come and, and, and show up and sign up, they really are as a life altering event. I mean, it truly is mm -hmm. life transformational. And I know that's maybe an overused term or you know, we can all say things like that, but all four of us have, or five, well there's five of us here, right? <laughs> have seen this happen. And it's just, so I just encourage everybody to reach out to whether you, you know, one of you or, or come and show up. Mm -hmm. So Debbie, uh, you have a story uh, that you wanted to share, so please. I, I, I do. It's, it's not similar to, to, to um, uh, you guys in, in that it, it does um, involve a donor of ours um, who had her plan established. I strongly encouraged her to come to our Oceanside facility where we were doing estate planning 101. And she would say, no, 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 I've got my estate plan done. I know 90% of what there is to know out there. Mm. Um, I still encouraged, she showed up. The first day she walked out saying, wow, I had no idea 
at the end of the fourth session, she came back and said, I know I told you I knew 90% of the information, but in reality, I only knew 10%. And I wish I knew this information before I put my plans together, and now I'm going back to redo them. So it's just, it's the power. It's, as Vienne was saying, there is a lot of information out there on the internet and whatnot, but it's not always great information. And uh, this is an opportunity for 12 hours. You're in front of professionals who are the best in, in, the, in their business, and we have an opportunity to pick their brains. Uh, it's, it's just uh, every year I hear this over and over and over again. And so we encourage your viewers to please join us. Come out for the first day. Guarantee you, you'll be back for all yeah, four sessions. How, Amy, just how many uh, SDSU alum do we have in approximately in San Diego? San Diego, well, about 78% stay locally. So 400,000 total alums that we <laughs> wow. have. So that's <laughs> Okay, so my quick math yeah. as an ex-CPA, 320, approximately yeah. 300 yeah. to 320,000. They stay 000. right here in our own backyard. Wow. Yeah. So how many can the room Smart. fill? <laughs> 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 so yeah, it probably, it filled up last year. It filled up uh, last year. So we do encourage people to mm -hmm. sign up on the website early in the game. Uh, before we sign off, I want to make sure everybody, is there any other story or any other, everybody got their message across mm -hmm. that they wanted to, to say? There's one thing that's probably important for people to know, which is that all of us have committed to participating in this as a community service. So we offer this free of charge. Mm -hmm. So not only is it comprehensive, but on a first come, first serve basis, so important to make those reservations sooner rather than later so that we can serve the most people. And everybody understands who is listening, you will not get a call at six while you're eating dinner after the fact. Nobody's going to no. take your information right. and call you to sign you up for anything after. This is really an educational benefit put on by four tremendous charities, organizations here in San Diego. We have Salvation Army, Cal State San Marcos. We have SDSU, San Diego State University, and of course KPBS. And thank you all so much for being here today. We really hope we're go not we hope we know we're going to make significant changes here in San Diego County and really benefit people's quality of life through Estate Planning 101. So we thank you all for being here. So stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Senior Stay or Go TV.